Good morning. Let's talk nets, right? So a net is basically like if you took the packaging around a three-dimensional object and cut it all the seams and laid it out flat. That's a net. Net, okay? And then this would be the net of a cube. So if we cut along all these outer edges and then fold it along the inside edges, we could fold it up and we would make a cube. I'll show you. Ta-da, here I have one cut up and I folded everything except for this one side and I'm, I just wanted to show you how I would fold it. I kind of put my middle fingers behind where I want to fold and then my pointer fingers on one side and my thumbs on the other side and just kind of work my way into making a bend on that line and then pinch it. And then it's a fold along that line. And then you, you, you fold it up, right? So it naturally wants to fold. And then these little things are tabs. They're not an actual part of the shape. So if you were figuring out the area of a particular shape, you could figure out the area of each one of these but not that because this part is just to help you make sure it stays together once you have it all folded. See how it kind of fills in that little gap? And so from the inside, you could take a teeny weeny piece of tape, really small, and from the inside, you could make sure those were lined up just right. And I kind of find this, this method to be painful, not physically, just mentally. Line them up, eek, pinch it together, and then it would be stuck. I think it's easier to use those on the outside, like this. Kind of opposite a pizza box. You know a pizza box, these go on the inside. I think it's easier to have them on the outside and tape them up that way. Or maybe they would just sort of keep each other together and you wouldn't have to tape. It takes a little bit of patience and delicacy, but you can see now we've created a cube. And it would have very specific measurements, you know, whatever it was that we drew it up as in a cube. So to make a net, you'd have to know some rules about specific shapes. Like a cube has all of these sides are the same length and it meets at 90 degree angles. Not all of them are this simple. You'll all get a chance to do this one in class, but some of them are pretty difficult, right? Like a dodecahedron. Holy moly. That looks fun though. So. I'll give you a chance to build this, and then if you want to, everybody will need to build a cube, and then if you want to, you can build some of the others, and then we'll do work this week with nets about um, how to draw them, how to look at one, and try to piece it together in your mind to know that what shape it is in real life. Okay?